So today we're going to be looking at a easy problem on lead code called merge two binary trees. So let's start with a problem description. You are given two binary trees and your task is to take one of these trees and overlay it on top of the other one such that the root nodes align with each other. Now, when you do this, sub nodes will overlap and sub nodes will not. This one here and this two will overlap. And in the case where they do overlap, you are to add the values in those nodes. And in this case, you will get a three. Now, in the instances where the nodes do not overlap, for example, there is a five here, but in this second tree, there is no node at this position where the five is. So in this case, you are to just take the node that is not null. In this case, you just take the uh, node with five. So let's start by looking at a simpler example. So here are two binary trees, right? Uh, in this one, we have a root of three and with a left child of five. In this one, we have a root of one with a right child of seven. And we would like to overlap these two trees. So first of all, the three and the one will overlap and that will give us a four. We add those values, but there's no node here where the five is, okay? So in this case, the five combined with the uh, null node here will just give us five. We will just take the node that is not null. And similarly, in, in this situation, there's a seven, but there is no corresponding node in this position. So in that case, we will just take the seven here and uh, we will get the five and the seven as the children and four as the root. Okay, so let's make some observations about this problem. Let's say that the two trees have roots T1 here and T2. Now T1 may have some children down here, blah, blah, blah. And T2 may also have some stuff down here. Okay. Now, when you overlap these two nodes such that T1 sits on top of T2, the left children, or I should say left subtree of T1 will overlap with the left subtree of T2. And the right subtree of T1 will overlap with the right subtree of T2, okay? So you may think this is a very obvious fact, but phrasing it this way explicitly makes very clear what we have to do. We recognize that these are sub problems of this problem, right? So if we can figure out, you know, the solution for overlapping the left child of T1 with the left child of T2 and the right child of T1 with the right child of T2, and, you know, imagine that someone gave us those solutions, then we can construct the solution for the uh, root node. We simply add these two values, T1 plus T2, and set that as our root node. And for the left child, we will just put the answer for uh, T1 left overlaps with T2 left. And for the right child, we will just put the answer for T1 right overlapped with T2 right. And this kind of uh, algorithm clearly calls for a recursion. So recursion is a very common theme among these uh, tree-like problems. And whenever you encounter such a tree-like problem, the first thing you should think of is some type of recursive algorithm. You should ask yourself the question, imagine if someone provided me with the answers for the left and right children of the root node. With those answers, could I somehow construct the answer for the root node? And if the answer to that is yes, then you should be definitely using some kind of recursion algorithm. Okay, so now let's look at how we would implement such a recursion algorithm. So first of all, if T1 is a null node, then we simply return a T2. Now, T2 may or may not be null in this case. If T2 is not null, then we return T2 and that's completely fine. But if T2 does happen to be null, then we simply return null. Because if you think about it, you know, if you have something like this, where in both T1 and T2, you know, for example, the left child here, there's nothing here, right? And similarly for T2, the, there's no left child. Then when you overlap null with null, you will just get null in the final answer, okay? So this first line already accounts for the situation where we have two null nodes. Okay, so the next line is very similar, right? So if on the other hand, T2 is null, we just simply return T1. 
um, once again, the, if the code already progressed to this line, then note that T1 cannot be null, okay? Because if T1 were null, then we would have already returned over here. So by the time we get to here, we know that T1 is not null. So if T2 happens to be null, then we simply return uh, T1. All right, so if the function has not returned at these two points, then we know that both T1 and T2 is not null. In particular, both T1 and T2 have a value, okay? So in this case, we're going to use the T1 as our final answer tree. So we're going to add on to T1 the value of that of the T2 value, okay? We're changing the root node value of T1 and we're incrementing it by the value of the root node of T2. Afterwards, this is where the recursion comes in, right? So we're going to set the left child of T1 to be the answer when we overlap the left child of T1 and the left child of T2. Similarly, we're going to set the right child of T1 to be the answer when we overlap the right child of T1 and the right child of T2. And afterwards, we simply return T1. This is the actual code written out in Python. And the format of this code is exactly what I showed you on the previous slide. So we define this function, and if t1 is null, then we return t2. If t2 is null, we return t1. And if these two have not returned, then both t1 and t2 are not null. So we increment the t1 root value by the t2 root value, and we set the left and right children of t1 to be the answers when we overlap the left children of t1 and t2 and the right children of t1 and t2 respectively. And finally, we return t1. Okay. All right. So let's run this. And there we go. Okay. All right. So that's all for today. And I'll see you guys next time.